H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. The recruiter uh, told me about this, and they are starting recruitment from that area. So the website is hackerrank.com. Even I registered recently. It's very interesting stuff. So this hacker rank is basically providing puzzles and programming snippets, and people have to solve these puzzles. Okay, and there are a lot of developers. Are registered so they claim 7 million I don't know I'm not sure about that but what it does is now let me show you <clears throat> so this is like uh, code and get higher and higher talent so for business people they go here for us for developers like us we should go here and we should log in so now you can sign up and quickly start so I'll be using dashboard. So now this is how it is. So let me show this. It has interview preparation kits where uh, you can actually challenge yourself, complete some challenges, and there are some practices. Okay, so these practices are really cool. So you can choose that and you can start doing this thing. Okay, yeah, I just started uh, like two days before, and even I was exploring the stuff. It's really nice. And there are cool companies. Okay, so and by the way, you can choose any of the language. You can choose Python, Ruby, whichever language you want. Okay, and then complete this. Okay, then. There are awesome things around, like there are statistics. Okay, there are things uh, you can practice. There are companies who are registered here. Okay, you can see the jobs. Okay, it's a really nice website to work for. And uh, when I was talking to my recruiter, uh, like the people for for them, I just take interviews. They told like we have to choose uh, profiles from here. So if I am choosing profile from here, why not I tell you that go ahead and complete these challenges from hacker rank. Now the interesting stuff is you everyone will get a rank. Okay, so when I continue to practice, I get a rank like where I am. So as soon as you registered, you get to know that you are at this particular rank. Okay, and how many points you have. Okay, once you complete 30 points, you will get some. Um, like medals or medals meaning some some badges online badges okay it's not real something but then this is interesting right so I just thought of sharing with you just explore this okay even I am exploring it it is really nice and I got to know recently otherwise I would have done it much earlier okay but I'm giving you that particular website link right here in your chat box so I really want you to go there uh, register yourself and see uh, you can use uh, these puzzles to explore programming that is one thing, but if you're stuck somewhere, I'm here to help you anyway So that we can complete it faster Okay, and uh, you get your ranks as soon as possible at least in first thousand or something um, Not even thousand first ten thousand. Okay, even if you do that because for for them they told us like first 25,000 you can choose people from okay so it's not like all of them are choosing jobs. Okay, there are some criteria. Okay, so anyway, you will get to know that once you explore the stuff. It's an interesting journey altogether, but I like it, so I wanted to share it. Could be that. Okay, now we'll continue with our topic. Yeah, lead code. I know about. I knew about lead code, but this is something interesting. Hacker rank is in something interesting. The, the recruiter told me to like grab the people. So I thought of like sharing with you. Okay, so anyway, they are they are really good recruiters now. Um, so now let's go ahead and today we are going to uh, start exception handling. So exception handling is um, let's talk about it in our X mind. So now 
What is exception by the way? Exception is a faulty scenario. Okay, so whenever a scenario is faulty, it can be faulty because of two main reasons. One is user error that user is providing a bad data or something interesting happen in the network or in hardware which is not in your control. Correct? So these two errors are specially categorized. Okay. And by the way, in Python, the exceptions are also called as errors. Okay. So exception and error is the same term. Okay. Unlike other programming languages, which handles it differently. So now exception or error basically has two main core purposes. So first one is basically, you know that this is your called as uh, user exception. So user input. Correct. Also user input based errors. Okay, I'll, I'll categorize it later. Okay, and another one is something which is because of um, other issues like something which is not, not in control. Right? In user input also, okay, so we, the errors which you are talking about, we call it as runtime error. Okay, so runtime error are actually at runtime. Obviously, these all errors are runtime only. Okay, so while execution itself, it will find out that this particular resource is not available. Correct. So these are like these are uncontrolled factors. Okay, which are completely outside the program. We don't we cannot do anything about it. Within this, there are two types. Okay, so now I'll tell you because this is there is something called user input. Okay, and there is also something called as programming mistakes. Right, programming mistakes. Correct. Now, the runtime errors are again categorized in multiple ways. Okay, so you can have n number of types within. So these are not real types. I'm just writing it first. Not in control errors are generally uh, we call it as either we call it as I/O error. Okay, or simply program terminates because you cannot do anything about it. So this is like memory error. Okay, you cannot do anything about it. Will be that. So either you can do or you cannot do. Okay, depends on what kind of error you are getting. Like right? particular file doesn't exist. I/O error, you can handle it, but you lose memory. Okay, you do not have enough memory to execute your program. Okay, so now you cannot do anything about it. So it program terminates. Okay, so this category we are not, we cannot discuss. But these two categories we can discuss. Will be that. So programming mistakes you can handle. So you can handle that that is called as exception handling okay so uh, sorry user inputs you can handle and programming mistakes you can again like make sure that your program is uh, written properly okay so that is something in your hand so coming back to the discussion of errors okay standardized i'm saying in the runtime error there are a lot of types okay just like arithmetic okay so arithmetic error meaning if there is a problem in your mathematical uh, expression okay there are other like a string so if you're handling string there is string type okay so there are n number of different types you're going to learn all of them and io error are particularly about either you are connecting to database or you're connecting to the file system or you're connecting somewhere okay good with that so now any kind of error in python have two approaches either you can handle that error or you can raise that error meaning you are not handling that error somebody else will do it so you pass on the responsibility correct so in runtime error especially you can handle it okay now there is a way to handle that particular error 